When it is time to replace the filter, the face mask should also be sterilized. To begin, you need to take the mask apart, remove the headband straps, and take out the filter housing to remove the old filter. To remove the two headband straps from the face mask, hold the metal hook and face mask firmly and gently pull the headband hook downwards to disconnect. To disassemble the headband for cleaning, Firstly unlock the silver clasp as shown, then detach the clasp. The silicone ear hooks can then be easily removed by sliding them off the headband in the direction of the narrow end. The silicon mask is quite stretchy. You can easily peel back the silicon face mask to remove the filter housing. Once the filter housing has been removed from the mask, to open it, slide the locking tab down. Once this has been done, it can be separated by holding the mouth area and prying the two halves gently to open. When open, Dispose of the filter carefully. After disposing of the filter, be sure to wash your hands according to recommended guidelines before proceeding. To sterilize the face mask, place the silver clasps, the silicon face mask, silicon ear hooks, and filter housing in an empty container. and fill with boiling water. Do not place the headband straps in boiling water. Leave the soak for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, drain the water from the container and remove the face mask components. Allow all components to air dry out of direct sunlight before reassembly. Once you have removed the silicone ear hooks and silver clasp, you can wash the headband separately by placing the headband into your clothes washing machine and wash using a delicate wash cycle at 60 degree temperature. Now that everything has been cleaned and sterilized, please wash your hands in accordance with recommended guidelines before reassembling the face mask. Place the new filter into the filter housing, locating it securely in place using the two small location pins. Once the filter is in the correct position, gently close the filter housing, pinching it together and slide the locking tab back into the lock position. To reinsert the filter housing, you can turn the mask inside out so that the four small pins at the bottom of the filter housing line up with the four small pinholes in the silicon mask. Stretch the mask body around the filter housing, checking around the edges to ensure that the silicone lip on the inside of the mask securely fits around the filter housing to give a good seal. When reassembling the headbands, make sure to assemble the right side headband strap, the matching silicon ear hook and the matching clasp together. All the components are labelled OR for the right side and L for the left side. When sliding the ear hooks on, attach the clear plastic hook with the arrow first.
Fully insert the black plastic gripper end of the headband strap into the silver clasp and close firmly. Then reassemble the left headband. When attaching the headband straps, firstly place the face mask on a clean, flat surface so that you are viewing the inside of the face mask. The top of the face mask is easily recognised by the nose-shaped area and the bottom is recognised by the mouth-shaped area. Before inserting the headband straps, ensure they are being inserted the right way around as they can mistakenly be inserted from the top of the face mask, but this can potentially damage the inserts. Each headband is clearly printed with an OR for the right side and an L for the left side. Place each headband strap on the correct side. Attach the headbands to the face mask by holding the metal hook firmly and pushing upwards from the bottom of the face mask. You will hear a clicking sound which indicates that the headband strap is fully inserted.